Many of you know that I don't do commission builds, but recently a friend and subscriber to the channel, Danny Bracken, contacted me about a build that sounded interesting. So he sent me uh, some parts along with some extra stuff. And in the box was a little baggie containing those parts that you see there for Hot Wheels Python. I, when I saw this little baggie, it just intrigued me. I, it obviously is a restoration that was started, a resto mod. You can see it has some axle tubes and different wheels planned for it there. But uh, even though this isn't the build that, uh, that I'm going to be doing for them, that one involves a, a truck, but uh, this one just grabbed me. And so uh, it's like it, it was telling me it wanted to come back and be finished. So, uh, you know, sometimes you get builds and they're just exciting. They just, they, they grab you. You just can't wait to do them. And uh, this is one of those. This little casting isn't in the best shape. It's not in horrible shape, but, you know, it wasn't in the best shape. And... Uh, it just seemed to me to be saying that it wanted to be polished up as best as it could be and just to see what I could do with it. You know, I, I'm not the best at restoring these things. I'm not the best at painting them. You know, I, I do the best I can. But the one thing about it, and this is, this hopefully comes across, is I want to have fun doing these. This is what it's all about to me. And I think Sometimes we stress out over too many things instead of just having fun with them. You know, life, life can be wonderful at times and, and it can be extremely rough at times. And, uh, you know, something obviously uh, stopped this little car from being finished. And so I'm going to do what I can with it. I also mentioned uh, that I was going to explain... Uh, something else about my builds. I, I'm also, I've entered competitions in the past and I've done okay, but I've decided I'm not really going to enter competitions anymore because that, that's just not what it's about for me. I'm just going to do the best I can with these little things. Hopefully you enjoy the videos and uh, let's have fun with them. So this little car, I, uh, Polished the heck out of it. And I sanded it down. Fortunately, it's a very clean casting. There's not like door handles or fancy trim you have to worry about. And then, you know, I hit it with my rattle can paints, the metal cast blue and the Minwax poly clear. And I was pretty happy at that point. And there, were, there was a little flaw in the roof and uh, you know, I couldn't get rid of all the toning, but I wasn't sure if I was going to do a black top on it or what. Posed that to the buddies on Facebook and got a variety of opinions. And, and I did end up going with the traditional matte black roof. The blue tape that I use there, don't be confused. I do not let that blue tape touch the paint. It's all masked from underneath. Basically inside of the cabin is what that blue tape's attached to. So uh, otherwise I use the Tamiya tapes because fortunately they always lift off really well. The glass was in great shape. Just needed to polish it up a little bit. Got out the trusty flits for that. And uh, yeah, I know I used my fingers again for this as opposed to a Dremel. Then it was gauzy, gauzy, gauzy time. As you can see, the glass was looking pretty good already. But... Uh, Good can always be better. <laughs> and all it takes is a little bit of gauzy to get you there. It's a nice small little glass on this thing. There were a few things about the casting that did fight me and I had to figure out how I was going to do them. I polished the base as best I could. You notice it did have axle tubes already installed. So I decided to leave those. And... Uh, after you, know, you can see after I polished it, I did use uh, the Renaissance wax that Paul over at Fat Guy Productions 
has mentioned several times, and that stuff is great. Uh, he, uh, I really appreciate that he mentioned that. I decided to do the axle tube, leave the axle tubes and do the axles this way with the bearings that I 3D printed. One thing I realized is I should, where I'm crimping it, make the 3D bearing a little smaller, a little shorter, so that it has room for the crimp. It worked fine on this build, but it's just something I'm learning here as I go along. The other end of those pins has a flat tip, so that side didn't matter. But just something to keep in mind for anyone that's using the bearing design. Uh, it's something you might want to tweak on those a little bit or sand them down a little or however you get it to work. Uh, the wheel sizes, they're Bright Vision wheels. And uh, the wheel sizes, according to the online information, it uses the small red lines on the front and the medium red lines on the back. Rolls like a champ. So that worked out pretty well. The engine was in pretty good shape. It was a little scuffed up, but you know that's what the Molotow pin's for. So yeah, that took care of it in short order and had it ready to go. And uh, got out the red Molotow paint pin, do that red back brake light. And I do part of it here on camera, and then I had to do the rest of it off camera because I was too twitchy. <laughs> uh, so that that's all there is to it. Just making it pretty and uh, doing the best I could with it. The engine kind of clips onto that interior, but it's a funky little connection there. And as you'll see here, I, I knock it loose. I did re-drill and tap, as you saw earlier in the video, when I was rambling, <laughs> the posts. And those screws did end up fighting me. And uh, people ask you, what size screws do you use? And it's one of those things where it all depends. It's good to have an assortment of screws because you never really know what length you're going to need or you know what size. You know, 256 is pretty much universal unless the posts are tiny. And then you have to go with the 172s. As far as the length, again, that varies. And, and the screws you're going to see me using here, I actually then switched. Like you see me step away there for a second, you saw the video transition. It's because I changed the size of the screws from what I had there originally. I needed to go a little bit longer. And then as it turned out, because of uh, some problems with the front post, just where the original drill point was. I actually changed the screws after you see the turntable shot. I end up putting a washer between the screw and the body to snug it up just a little bit more. I almost wish I had uh, a screw length in between the two uh, links that I had there. Originally, I used a self-tapping screw. Then I ended up tapping it and uh, going with that. But uh, it's always handy to have a variety of things at your fingertips. So there's where we started. The little bag of parts. You know, there were a couple matchbox wheels in there. And uh, I could tell that, uh, I don't know if Danny was the one who started this or if, if he bought a package or got received a package from somebody that had been started. Um, the paint job had a few little chips on it and it was kind of a matte paint job and I wanted to go to the gloss so I did strip it off and repaint it as you know. But uh, I want to thank Danny for uh, dropping this in that box of uh, other things. He gave me a bunch of extra stuff that he really didn't need to send. I do appreciate it. Um, I'm going to be doing this uh, big rig truck for him. That's going to be a little bit bigger build that uh, I'm going to need to make a little time in the schedule to get to that one. But uh, this was a quickie. And uh, 
I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. I'm happy I went with the matte black top. There were a few suggestions, and it was tempting to leave it just the gloss paint because, dang, it was pretty. That blue is pretty. <laughs> but uh, anyhow, this is the more traditional look, and I do like it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. And uh, everybody stay safe and healthy out there. I hope you enjoy the remaining glamour shots. And thanks to my Patreon members for all of their support. Catch y'all in the next one. Thank you.